What is going on, YouTube? Crowbat for the win. Danza here today with... My name is Magnitude, coach of the Milwaukee Sawsbucks future GBA champions. What season? I don't know. Oh, what Hopefully is this? Like this V2? One. Season 4? Something yeah, like season that? Season 4. Yeah, we're just going to yeah. strike strike short and season happened, and here we are. That's something like that. Yeah. Anyways, so this is our first of many coaches' interviews. Obviously, the man himself, the creator, Magnitude, as he just introduced himself at, as... Uh, I'll be inter interviewing him today. Uh, all right, Steve. Uh, let, let's lighten things up to start this interview. The Bucks, man. E even with their poor season last year and Jabari Parker's injury, they prevailed, and they're going to be in the playoffs. Six seed, baby. They just beat the Sixers like two minutes ago also, so they have uh, at least a 500 record this year. I think they're one game above, above 500. Yeah, 41 and 40, baby. That is awesome. It's a good omen. It's a good omen for us, I'll tell you that much. Definitely. And once they get Jabari Parker back, man. Oh, that's... my. Yo, they're like one legitimate, like, star away from contending. Mm. Oh, I agree with you on that, definitely. Uh, here, here's a kind of off-the-wall question. If you could make a movie about the entire Bucks season, what actors would you hire to play their starting five? All right. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to play himself. I believe the man can do anything he wants in life. Mm -hmm. Whatever he wants to do, he can do. Uh, mm -hmm. O.J. Mayo played by Afro Man. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Zaza Pachula played by Al Pacino. Perfect, actually. That. Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton's weird. He's just like, let's see, who's the most average black actor you can think of? Don Cheadle. That'll do it. Don Cheadle. The other one I was thinking is like Will Smith, but. Will Smith? <laughs> no, Will Smith is gonna be uh, Michael Carter Williams. Uh, there, there you go. All MCW. right. MCW. Yeah. Will Smith, make it happen. Yeah. And Jason, Jason Kidd is going to be played by... I'm trying to think of who was some, like, an aging, but not, like... like I'm trying to think of an like, actor who started when they were really young, and now... Uh, mm. whoever the, you know what? Whoever... Uh, Ewan McGregor, who played Obi-Wan uh, Kenobi. He can be yeah. Jason Kidd. Yes, yes, yes. I think he might have been Qui-Gon, actually, but... No, Qui-Gon was uh, Liam Neeson, dude. Oh, oh. Yeah, Come you're on. right, you're right. Hey. I haven't seen Star Wars Episode One in a while. I think I deserve a break for that. All right. It's the one break you get from Qui-Gon Jinn trivia. Okay. Thanks you get no more for the rest of your life. You use that one. <laughs> and this is going up on the internet, so it I'll is. be, I'll so be embarrassing is. myself, and it's, it's in it. record, so. All right, all right. Hey, watch out. Bucks 2015 season coming soon to a theater near you. Starring Hugh McGregor and Will Smith. All right. All right, GBA discussion. Obviously, I have plenty of inevitable questions. How are you feeling knowing that your creation has returned after a catastrophe last season? Well, I do. I understand that I it was my creation, but I have to just give a big appreciation and thanks to John Pokemon. He's done so much between season three and four that it would be nowhere without him. So, John, thank you very much for everything you've done. And uh, But it's awesome. It's like I have... If you've known me for a while, you know that I have a lot of ideas. I just I have a lot of ideas, and I never really capitalize on them because I I was falling into that mentality of well, it's it's, it's just stupid, it's never gonna work. But I decided let's try this one, see what happens, and it turns out yeah, it worked. Mm -hmm. It just feels nice to know that so many people are enjoying it, and that's that's kind of the main thing. Is people are enjoying it. That's that's, that's what I want to do. I want to be somebody who can bring entertainment and joy to people, and the fact that so many people are enjoying it is the real prize i guess if there is one and i i think that's great i i'm obviously a big gba fan i never, I never would have um, met you if it wasn't the gba so there you go i know th there you go and i wouldn't probably wouldn't be here today interviewing you for season probably four. Not. so yeah uh, this man just selfless right here yeah uh anyways so that's all well and good uh now that you have a fresh start what yeah. is your favorite part about the new format um I like the salary cap idea. It makes you have to be more creative. Mm. I think like there's nothing wrong with the older, the old non-salary cap idea. That's perfectly fine. But I think with a salary cap, it just makes you have to think more and you have to strategize more. And I love, I love like strategy. That's my favorite part of anything is trying to figure out strategies. Mm -hmm. And I, it just, it just makes you have to think more. You can't, you can't be like, oh, that's on the board. I'm taking it. You have to actually. Well, can I take that? Will it fit? And then uh, beyond that, you have to then make a team within the salary cap that is good. Definitely. 
to, well, one of the things I found most interesting is Landorus I, and I think Thunderous Therian. Still, two, Bisharp too. Bisharp undrafted. as well, there you undrafted. go. Major threats were, were not actually selected because of this new format. Yeah. And instead, I know your last pick, or one of your last picks, something like Muck, which Muck was one of last doesn't ones, yeah. conventionally get a lot of use, but I do think based on my experience of working with Muck, it has a good enough move pool and plenty of support options. Oh, fairies options. I, are going to learn Muck's name soon. I, I, it, the tiers, in, in essence, don't really play a role in yeah. this new format, as long oh, as you Muck, can use everything correctly. Muck's and... got 105 base special defense. Bring it on, Sylveon. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah, your HP grounds ain't got nothing on Muck. Nothing. It'll do, like, 20% most if it's offensive. Mm. Oh, definitely. I've, I've run Choice Banded mucks before. Shadow Sneak, you yeah, got that as well. Nowhere, yeah. So, so definitely. Uh, I like the salary cap idea. I think a lot of people do too, except those, no, that one person on Ask.fm that called it yeah, socialist. Yeah, really, really not a fan. I don't know. <laughs> they called it socialist. Yeah, that's weird. That's a, Of all the adjectives to use, like, A, it doesn't make any sense in the scheme of things, and B, I think he, like, learned that word in his politics class, and he really wanted a time to use it. That's why he used it. Who knows? Maybe we gave him an A. Maybe he brought that into class the next day and showed that he used it in a sentence. Yeah, yeah, you know, as that was his homework. He used socials in a sentence, and he did, and there you go. Maybe we're helping people out we didn't even know, you know? Yeah, that, that, that's very plausible, yeah, definitely. And obviously, with this new GBA, the new format, and everything, you got a pl bunch of new guys in the league. W what are your thoughts on them so far? Uh, I mean, they're all nice people. Because the problem was, we just had so many people that were interested and were cool, and it was just really it, like it wasn't it wasn't fun narrowing it down because there were people that didn't get in that I wanted to get in, but it just it just the way it happened. Like it's unfortunate that that's that's how it worked, but. Everyone we've picked so far, they've, they've been active, they've been fun, uh, you know, they've been talking trash, which I love. <laughs> so, but I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping with this new, new squad, it's more lighthearted. But I think that's what the problem was with the older one, like, there's just too many people who, I guess, didn't have enough fun with it. Yeah. Like, they couldn't differentiate between fun and competitive, they had only, they could only be on one side, you couldn't be in both. But I think it's kind of weird, since... Like, I am literally the embodiment of both. Yeah. And I'm the one who made it. So just, like, follow my example, guys. It's really fun. You, I, Because, like, I really try and win. I plan for a while before my battles. But, you know, at the same time, in the off time, I'm just kind of having fun, you know? Yeah, and I think people should probably know this. Obviously, I was in the league pro previously, and that you was are. always one of my uh, keystones to not only be competitive, but to have fun. And... Every week, except those weeks, actually, I actually don't think I've ever was ever six owed. But except those weeks when I got destroyed, I was having fun the entire time <laughs> I've up been until the end. It's, no, it's not a fun feeling. No, I can imagine. But it, I guess if anything, that does provide you more motivation to get back out there next week. So yeah, yeah, but I lost the next week. But you know, but it happens. Oh, I mean, yeah. I tried. I tried. There was effort applied. Mm. Yeah, definitely. But. Getting into your individual draft. Uh, okay, I want to prevent this from being in the comments section for you. Uh, actually, it'll be there anyways, I guarantee it. Good problem. Uh, someone's typing it right now. Uh, all important question. Why did you not draft Malamar? Uh, it can only do one thing. And it's got too many quad weaknesses that when, like, you can plan for that. You just go, well, Malamar's there. Let me just bring anything with U-turn. It's just, it just got too much. If it didn't have two quad weaknesses, if only had like if it was only quad weak to fairy, I think it'd be better because fairy's not like that common of a type, and there's no right. hidden power fairy. It's not like you can just tech that on something anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's got two, and U turn is like um, initiative in this format is really important. So like U turn is really important, mm -hmm. and if it's quad weak to U turn, I just can't find a place for that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you there, especially that whole. Double quad weakness. Uh, no huge. hidden power fairy. Yeah, I agree with you on that, man. Uh, it it does only have one role, and I know we saw it extensively in Malamar week. So I'm that sure was that's not, that was a lot of fun, though. That was a lot of fun. You can't, like, no, no one but can nobody deny expected that. that. That's the difference. <laughs> now nobody, they do because I I, I I had those battles all at once, so like nobody knew what was about to happen to them. Right, right. 
And then it got, what, 19 KOs? 19 KOs, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to be able to run any other sets or any other sets effectively. So. Yeah, it can, like, dual screen, but what's the point? Yeah, you're better off getting, like, a Mesprit or something like that to dual right, screen. Right, something that's actually defensive. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, back to serious discourse. No more Malamar, because, once again, I just wanted to get that out of your comments section, even though that I, won't actually work. I appreciate it, because, you know, it's probably still going to be there, but... <laughs> So, how are you feeling about your draft? What kind of a what style were you going for going into the draft? What were your thoughts? Well, uh, last season, I, uh, I, I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like my draft. I kind of drafted based on like what, this is. Uh, this answer is going to be super convoluted, and I apologize for the rambling. But that's okay. Is, last season, I, I picked up uh, Meloetta, Metagross, and Mandibuzz. I didn't really need any of those. But my, my thought process last year was I want to be really, really versatile. Like, Victini's versatile, Greninja versatile, Meloetta is the definition of versatile. It's got two forms. Uh, uh, Metagross can go, sp you can catch people off guard with, like, a hidden power fire Metagross and just destroy something. Mm -hmm. The whole point was I wanted to be offensively versatile. And uh, maybe it would have worked. I was 2 and 3, minus 2 with, like, a lot of games left, so it might have worked. But it didn't, you know, I, I felt like this season, though, I want it to be more bulky and slower, and my I want to like just beat people down over like like an ocean, just kind of over time, mm. force them to switch and beat them down. Because I don't have a lot of fast things at all. I have Latios, obviously you know Landers that can be scarf and that can be fast. Arcanine can be fast, but it's not going to be. Suicune can be fast, but again, not going to be. Breloom, not really that fast. Muck's not fast. Miltank's not fast. Electros isn't fast. It's not a fast team, but I didn't really want it to be a fast team. But what I've also no sorry to interrupt, but I've also noticed you do still have a lot of priority on your team. Which yes, is and that, good. that's what I was going for. I don't need to be fast if I stock up on like priority because that's going to be my whole strategy. You know, I, I don't ever expect to win 5-0 or 6-0. It's never going to happen for me. I'm going to be one of those teams that grinds out wins and just beats teams down. And then over, you know, I'll win 3-0 because by the time turn 31 comes around, he's got four Pokemon left at like 21%. Mm. And I have three guys of priority left, so it doesn't matter. And I can just pick people off. And that's what I'm going for this year. Yeah, definitely. It'll, your picks definitely indicate that. Uh, I think if even Mill Tank and you, uh, if I'm correct, Thick Fat, yeah, and you. I think that Thick Fat, Scrappy, or Sap Zipper, so I have Which, options. All of those are excellent abilities to have in yep. this league. Excellent utility. Coming for you, Victini. <laughs> Yo, uh, Choice Banded Victini with V Create can three can only three AKO Mill Tank max mm -hmm. defense Mill Tank on Thick Fat. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Miguel drafted that. Oh, he did. All right, well... Br bring it, Miguel. You're about to hit, get, run into a wall of milk. <laughs> a fat wall of milk. Hmm. I, I would be care careful of the uh, focus blast, though. Just, uh... Hey, he'll miss. I ain't worried. <laughs> hey, I ain't worried. Well, I like your confidence. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, more on your draft. Uh, did you get sniped at all, or by I who? Did. Or... I did. With what? Uh, I originally wanted Mega Alkazam because I wanted at least something really fast, like, worst case, if I had, you know, to get into a, you know, outspeed. And it got traced, which is cool. That could be it could be useful against certain things, but mm. uh, that got taken. And I wanted Magnezone, but that obviously got sniped because I wanted, I, I said, I don't have any Steel types. But I, I don't think I need any Steel types because I have, uh, I just feel like that I don't really have a need for it because... Um, I don't have really many, uh, like, flying weaknesses that need to be drawn. Like, I have Don Fan for flying. I think I didn't really need a steel type in this because uh, fairies aren't that big of a threat in this format because there's so few of them. So, like, I'm not going to be seeing a, a zoom roll on every team. Mm. But, uh, but I wanted to get Magazine to trap the other steels. I wasn't able to get that. And I wanted Scoliopede to baton pass speed boost, potentially, to something like a... Uh, like a Landorus, but that also didn't happen. So, But that was it, just those three. So well, I got lucky there. Hey, that's not bad. I think you still ended up doing just fine. Uh, as the analyst, I, th I think your team is definitely looking solid. The only thing, I'm not even going to say you should have done differently because that's not true. The only thing I was seeing, maybe you could have got Heliolisk because I thought maybe that would have been... Since you had a yeah, water weakness I for a while. Yeah, I thought about that over Electros. Like, I, that, was a, that was a decision of mine. But I like the fact that Electros can be both special and physical. Hmm. And I feel like 
since being my only electric type, I feel like I want to have that option based on because like if he's my only electric type and I'm gonna need an electric type for a team, I want to be able to have as many options with that one electric type as possible. Right. And hey, I guess if that's my biggest complaint about your team, you're doing. And that's not even a complaint. You, yeah. That's not. That's I, you're doing well. If, if I, that's I, my I, biggest quote unquote complaint. Yeah, I think like last year, like I said, I was trying like too much offensively, so I didn't have a lot of good switches into things. But I think this year with more bulky team, I can like I'll feel safer switching into stuff because right. I you know have the higher defensive stats to do so. Mm. So, all right. We're going to reflect back a little bit. I do know you've had three or 2.5, rather, G- seasons of GBA experience. Your first season, it's no secret, is kind of <laughs> surprisingly well embedded in GBA lore. Now that there are 10 games back in the, the rotation this year, h- how are you planning to prevent that same 1-9 and nine fate? Uh, I think my team is just so much better. <laughs> like I just, I feel like I can't. I just feel like I, I can't have My team is just too good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall into wins. Like, at least two or three wins I'm just going to accidentally get because my team is good. Hmm. There's no way I'm going to only win. Cause like, my team season one was just so sixth-gen hype. It's ridiculous. And, and I think more so. You just had so such bad luck. It was bad. It, oh, yeah. it, everything was bad. Except I would have won week two, but Kyle got a first-turn wake. It caused me to lose. Like, if he was asleep for one more turn, I was going to win 2-0. Hmm. But that didn't happen, so what are you going to do? Hey, no, nothing wrong with that. Now, in the past, moving in forward, past, uh, just you got, you got a much end. better opportunity ahead, that's for sure. I hope so. Hey, so, go, going into this season, this now we're looking to the future. W- what are your expectations? I mean, obviously, we know about season one, not too good. Uh, season two, you did okay. Seven and seven was pretty uh, it's good. It's a big upgrade from that's one and nine. That's definitely a big upgrade. Yes. <laughs> Season three, okay, it started out a little bit poorly, but I really think you ended on a high note with a week five win. I, I also did. noticed, I One noticed of the best GBA games. I think I played really well that game. You did. It was an excellent game. Uh, you end obviously on a high note, and I I noticed you were thinking seemingly more creatively. I really liked seeing you bring things like SmackDown Greninja or a G- what's the Dude, about? skill swap. Uh, <laughs> Mega Jared Y I had no idea it was coming. Yeah, that that was just perfect in my opinion, and and. What was it? A skill swap, Mega Gardevoir? No, yep. Galade. Yep. Galade. That works. That, that was works. excellent. Uh, do, you, do you believe that this creativity, plus your new team, will boost you to be a, a top contender? I do. I uh, I think because like if you notice, I may have lost like a lot of games season one, but I only really lost badly once. And it was a six zero. Other than that, like if you look at, at once, I think I was one and nine minus twenty three. If you take out that one game, I had that means I was one and eight at minus seventeen, mm. which is only about like a two and a half o every time. So like I wasn't getting killed right ever with I'm, a bad with a bad team. Right. Unfortunately, I know I'm like pretty much a leading statistician of the uh, GBA channel squad, but uh, I haven't calculated average plus minuses and stuff. What I've I got, have. I have. Okay, so. I I can believe it though because I do know I was there season one. I know you weren't getting killed pretty much every time. So yeah, I can actually pull up those numbers real quick if you want to just yeah, my sure. average margin of game. So like if, uh, for my career, I I'm losing. I'm at minus point seven two, which means going into a game I'm gonna probably lose by less than one. So which overall, is not bad. like my career is not terrible. And I guess it's kind of skewed with season one in the mix. Yeah, exactly. So, like, and I think with a much more solid team this year, I'm going to be in a lot more games than I was. And I think I think I've, I've excuse me, a lot better chances this, this season. Because even, like, season two, I was still weighed down by the fact that I really only had eight Pokemon or seven. Because I was never using Mega Ampharos. I was never using Malamar. I was, like, never using Ditto. But with this way, with this team, you kind of got a plan for everything, and I think that's going to make it, you know, better. And I'm going to do better, I think. No, definitely. Uh, I think you're going to definitely at least do the best you can to make that push. Uh, who are you looking forward to playing most? I, I can think of a few possible names, but I'd like to hear it from you. Cooper. Ooh. Cooper, I every time I've played Cooper twice, and I've lost to him both times. The first time I lost to him because I didn't get a goddamn damage roll with Rock Slide. Ugh. And the second time he's outplayed me. Um, the whole the Great Wall of Cooper has fallen this year. Every he's got such a fat team, and I wanted I want to break it down. 
Mm. Uh, well, he's got he's got uh, Dustnor, Blissey, Vaporeon, Togekiss, Whimsicott. I want to break that down brick by brick, Danza. <laughs> hey, I, I certainly think you can. Um, I'm going to be honest. I was a little bit more underwhelmed with Cooper's draft. I don't know why. I just didn't. I didn't expect him to pick some of the things that he picked there. I'm not sure why, but I, I definitely think you have the capability to do it. I hope so. I hope I can, like, just get, like, a plus four crud on and just go to town. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, looks like if you can get rid of Vaporeon, that, yeah. is, that is in the cards, definitely. Yeah. Whimsicott, get, I guess, is a problem. I but... guess that's a problem, too, definitely. But if, you, if, that... you can get, if you can pretty much get rid of those two... Crawdon pretty much sweeps. Yeah, because Zapdos doesn't want to take a plus two waterfall, I don't think. No, not adaptability boosted, no way. No, that's the thing, adaptability is a good but yeah, I really I really want to like just beat Cooper. Like just keep losing to Cooper. Mm. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh on the same note, who are you least excited to play? Who am I least excited to play? Yes. Um Probably Miguel. Mm -hmm. I just because he's going to beat me <laughs> I just know he's going to beat me and it's going to be with Victini and I don't want that to be because Victini was my baby well I mean if you if you want to bring Mill Tank you could always run he's going to crit me Dan I don't understand he's going <laughs> to crit me with V-Create and it's going to be over he can't crit you if he can't hit you run Bright powder or so. Oh, it gets that accuracy increasing. Dude, ability. dude. Oh, on that note, I'm watch out somebody this year. I'm bringing mud slap. <laughs> I'm bringing. I'm bringing a mud slap toxic protect Pokemon this year. That is genius. Only from the mind of Steve. Yeah, I'm gonna have hashed up, and it's gonna be. You're gonna hate your life, but it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't know. That almost makes me glad that I'm not back this year in the league because I don't have to deal with that. Someone's going to catch the Someone wrath else is going to. Some I don't know who it's going to be. It's some but it's going to be one of those like super offensive teams mm -hmm. and they're just going to catch a mud slap toxic protect team and they're just going to have to keep switching. And watch it be something like Heatran which is going to take 20% from it. Just and, keep mud slapping, just yeah. keep mud slapping. He's missing lava plume and before you know he's just struggling. <laughs> I want to do it. Part of me wants to do it to Shady because his fans are going to hate me. <laughs> yeah, they are notorious. No offense to Shady fans, but they are kind of notorious for saying Remember silly things. Remember season one when I beat him with the swagger cleft key? Oh, yeah. I was like the Joker. <laughs> the, uh, Venom. You were spitting at me, Dan. The Venom. I, I remember. I remember. And these are the same fans that ask Shady why he hasn't evolved his Golbat. You guys got to read a book or something to learn. <laughs> All right, learn the ways of the GBA. Just go to the channel, watch the video, understand it, come back, and you won't have any more dumb questions. Yeah, and I, I don't think we have to worry about that too much this year, though. I don't know of too many not fully evolves that were drafted. I don't recall any. Maybe there I was one in there. Chansey was. Uh, okay, Chansey, probably. Uh, other than ones like that, I don't recall any. Yeah, Golbat's still flowing. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's. I guess technically there's still a few picks left in the draft, so someone could take Golbat. But... So, somebody just drafted right now, so. You just drafted Golbat? No, no, no. Somebody just drafted a. No, no, no. Okay. It's, the draft is still going, but it's just. Uh... Yeah, but yours is done, so that's uh, why we're doing this, obviously. Obviously, that's why you know we're here. Draft over. Yep, definitely. All right, so I've got. Oh, oh, an NFE was just drafted. Ooh, what is it? Magneton. Oh, okay. I could see the Magneton. Win the Winnipeg Aqua Jets just picked up Magneton. All right, not 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 a bad choice, I guess. I mean, for an NFE, it's probably one of the better NFEs that could be in this. Or for league. the 125th pick in the draft, it's not bad. Yeah, not at all. We're getting down there. All right. So, we've basically got. I've got one last little. I, I want you to talk to the fans one last time. If you okay. could give one short message to or. Actually, any length message to all your Sawsbox fans before this new season. What would it be? Don't give up on me. Don't do it, okay? Uh, my motto has been the entire time. I don't care if I win. Like, I talk trash, but, like, for fun. I don't actually, you know, mean that. But, like, I, the whole point of me and the GBA is I want to have fun with it. I love doing the pregame speeches. I love doing the press conferences. But this season, I feel good about it. 
So don't give up on me. We got this this year, guys. Why not win the title this year? We're going to make a run for it, I swear. We got the team for it. I feel like I have the mind for it. And I feel like I'm going to make that ballsy play at the right time and the whole season, the whole, my whole franchise is going to just turn around in that one turn. I have a really good feeling about it. Just don't give up on me. Even if I start 0-2, don't give up on me. Hey, That's all I'm saying. If it makes you feel any better on my pre-draft power rankings, I had you at number five, and that was without even seeing your draft. Yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm I've actually preloaded on my browser. I'm gonna watch that as soon as we're done with this. So, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you'll see my reasoning for it, but basically what I said was this man has experience, and I saw some potential at the end of season three with some of the sets he was running. Uh, are you guys gonna do uh, post-draft preseason power rankings? We are. That will nice. probably, well, it'll probably be up before this is uploaded, so it, I mean, this is a little anachronistic, or whatever the word is, uh, but anyways, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, alright, so, you know, there you go, okay. So, yeah, uh, I think that's just about it, uh, you basically gave your, your last message there, uh, anything else? Uh, I'm just looking forward. I, it's going to be a good season. We have uh, you porn Katie on our side. She bought a t-shirt, so that's cool. Hey, there you go. Uh, so worst case, you know, that's still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how in the world you pulled that off. I, honestly, neither do I, man. I I don't know what happened. Jeez, <sighs> that... Uh, if if you if you get absolutely nothing else this season, at least you're going to be the celebrity because you you're rolling in sponsorships now. It, it's it's weird. I'm trying to get Ronda Rousey now, mostly because it's funny at this point. Just <laughs> hey, maybe one day you'll get it. I'm, I'll be hoping you do because that would just be hilarious. What I, I heard, she's a nerd. Like she's a nerdy thing. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping we can make something happen here. Rhonda, give me, give me a, uh, hit me up on Twitter if you're watching this. I'm sure you are. Obviously, why wouldn't you? The G Bay is awesome. Yeah, t uh, you should definitely send this video to her or, or tweet it at her. I will. Alrighty. So uh, I think that's just about it for today. We've been running probably 27 minutes or so. It's a yeah, little... this is a long one. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. We've had a good talk. So I think you're ready for the season. I'm looking forward to watching the Saws Bucks play. I appreciate you taking your time out to do this interview, and I hope you enjoy your analyst position. I hope you enjoy what you're going to be doing, because the way it's looking, man, this thing's about to blow up, so... Mm, I'm so I'm glad hit, to be... I'm going to hit your wagon to this now. Mm, definitely. I'm glad to be a part of it. Glad to glad to be able to do all of this and work with all the stats and the, the this analyst stuff, so it's a lot of fun. I actually have one question for you before we end this. Sure. How is your NPL team doing? Oh man, <laughs> oh, they're not doing very well. Uh, I've got some pretty awful luck, so I've got some misses and freezes. Uh, I believe I am five in, or two and five. That's no good. Yeah. What are you doing? Come on. It's it's been pretty bad. The weeks I've won, I've won big, but the weeks that's I good. haven't were, have been because of hacks. That's that's see, that's no good. It, it's been like you're okay. One of the losses wasn't my fault because I picked it up the team up after week one and that was there, it was just there. So I guess under my leadership, it, uh, it's two and four. But I, I'm. Just, eh, it's, that's respectable. Yeah, I, I think once I got Tangro, things picked up a little bit. That's when I got my two wins. Uh, he's one of my stars in the GBA, so love Tangro to death. And I, I'm not sure if it's going to be drafted or not. I'm a little bit nervous. I'd be shocked if it didn't. Uh, right? I don't know if anyone has room for it right now. Oh, uh, yeah, you're probably right. Most people have some kind of grass type. It's disappointing if Tangrowth doesn't go. Uh, it's It's been my biggest power player in the NPL. Uh, getting four KOs one week, some of which were with Hidden Power flying. It's crazy. It's, cr it's That's crazy. Definitely. Oh, man. So hopefully we're going to, I think we're pretty much going to be out of the playoffs unless a miracle occurs and I win six games straight or whatever it is. But we're still in it for the fun, we're in it for the ride, and we're going to hopefully at least try to get an even record of 7-7. Seven and seven. Well, I wish you the best of luck going forward. Thanks a lot, man. Ed. I wish you the best of luck with your GBA season. Thank you. I am going to need it. <laughs> Alrighty, uh... That's about it for this interview, guys. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe to the GBA channel, subscribe to Steve's channel, and subscribe to all the other channels in the description because it's probably going to have a list of everyone in the league.
They're yeah, all... go and do it. We're all great people. All yeah. of us. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys next time on the next Coach Interview. Goodbye.